Mental Fox here with more Elden Ring for you. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Here in the capital outskirts, we've got what I believe to be an elevator back here, although it doesn't look like it's going to go very high. Oh, oh, maybe it goes down. Ugh. Probably goes down. We're going to go this way. We're going to head this direction. Uh, this looks like a tower, a divine tower, so I'm going to guess this is the East Altist. East Altus Divine Tower. I think it's a pretty good guess. Let's go over here and fight this guy. He looks a little lost. Looks like he's looking for something. What's up, dude? What are you looking for, man? Don't see anybody else down there. Although I would be surprised if he's the only one that we have to deal with on our walk over here. Before we walk over there, let's just take a quick look here. To either side of the door because you never know there could be something over here but there's not okay let's go down here and take this guy out make our way over to the divine tower and i believe we have two runes that uh whoa what the what the heck what Okay, that was bizarre. What in the world just happened? Is this the guy that we just saw walking around there with the torch? He does have a torch in his hand. What in the world? Let's pick up the item. Golden Rune 9. Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean, the way that happened... I feel like this is a glitch. I don't even see my own self on the map anywhere. I could fast travel somewhere if I wanted to. Uh, yeah. I can't even tell which way I'm facing. Whoa! Fell twin. Well, I could bring in a friend. Oh no, I can't. I can't bring in a friend. Maybe I don't have enough FP? I can. Oh, he's gonna hit me though. Did I get him in? Yeah, okay. Olga's in here. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Damn it. Hey, you. This is disconcerting. This is very disconcerting. Yeah, bow down before me. No, don't. Oh, there's this thing. Oh, I hate fat rolling so much. Hate it. Hate it so much. Oh, oh. For some reason, my volume control just came up there. Just ignore that. Okay, I'm not fat rolling anymore. <laughs> okay. One fell twin gone. Redmane's dead. Oh, what a move. Oh, yeah. Heal up real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was freaking bizarre. Omen Killer Rolo. Okay, can it be daylight again? Because that was bizarre. What on earth just happened there? <laughs> this game is so full of surprises. It is so full of surprises. I love it so much. Okay. Oh, there's a site here now. Okay. Well... Well, we just picked up some ashes here. Omen Killer Rolo. Ash and remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of Omen Killer Rolo. Spirit of Rolo, known as the first Omen Killer. Once a famous perfumer, 
Rolo imbibed a physic to rid himself of emotion, thus enabling him to enact his nightmarish labor hunting the omen. Okay. We'll level him up here in a bit. We'll try him out. That was very odd. Very, very odd. Just the way in which it went pitch black. It was like several layers of it. It went dark, and then it went pitch black. It was bizarre. We're at the Divine Tower of East Altus. This is the gate. Here we are. Knew it. it wasn't hard to figure out. Uh, once again, we're going to look at, to either side, just to make sure we're not missing anything here at the Divine Tower of East Altus. Nothing here. All right, let's see if these doors open for us. <laughs> that was so weird, man. So weird. My dude is strong. He's very strong. He can open the big stone doors. Okay, let's ride the elevator up. Yeah, we're looking over here to an area we haven't been to before. Oh. Don't even know what it looks like on the map. We haven't exposed the map yet. Another castle over there, it looks like. Big old Erd tree there. Okay, here they, here's two runes. Here they are. Two great runes. Do I have to pick one? Restore the power of the great rune. Restore the power of the great rune. Well, hopefully I can do both of them. I pressed the wrong button. Who cares? Morgoth's great rune. Okay. So Morgoth's great rune has been restored. Right here. A great rune of the shard bearer Morgot. Its blessing. Excuse me. Its blessing greatly raises maximum HP. This great rune is the anchor ring that houses the base and proves two things that the Omen King was born of the golden lineage and that he was indeed the Lord of Landell. Okay, so it, it greatly raises maximum HP. Okay. And then this one. Mold's Great Rune. Check this one out. A Great Rune of the Shardbearer Moog. Its blessing grants a blessing of blood to summoned phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Moog and Morgoth are twin brothers and their great runes are naturally similar. But Moog's rune is soaked in accursed blood from his devout love for the wretched mire that he was born into far below the earth. What does this mean? Grants a blessing of blood to summon phantoms and imparts a phantom great rune upon successful invasion. Okay. Is a blessing of blood basically 
raised HP for your summoned phantoms? I'm gonna guess. Because otherwise I don't see how it's similar to the other rune. Oops. Okay, well, here we are, up here. Um, these places are bizarre to me. I mean, they're so elaborate, but there's really not a whole lot here. But at least we've now cashed in two more of our great runes, which is always exciting. It's very far away. We are now looking over in this direction. Also to a place we've never been. Well, I could just simply fast travel out of here. Oh, there's a site up here. Okay. I mean, why is there a site here? Why would I ever want to come back here? S some weird decisions, I feel like. I don't remember there being sites of grace at the top of the other divine towers, but maybe there were. We could easily find that out. Uh, I mean, here's a tower here. No site. Uh, there was a tower here. Uh, see, this is the this is the t the site like outside of it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's at the top of it. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, what I was gonna say was, I mean, I, there's really no reason for me to run back out here and take the elevator back down, aside from curiosity. Uh, I just want to see if anything else weird is going on out here, so let's go ahead and ride this thing down, take the very, very long ride down, and I want to walk back across that path just to see if anything else weird happens, man, that's all, because that was pretty weird what happened before. I guess I could have fast traveled back to this site down here, but again, I'm just seeing if anything is different. Nothing in here for us. So yeah, we've got a site here. can't hop on torrent, so I can't speed this up other than running. Uh, I mean, there could be items to either side that I didn't pick up before. What's with the fire over there? What's this place? Looking back towards Lane Dell. That's nice. I don't... I don't remember there being flames in Landell. Is it possible that Landell is on fire? I'm not going to see it from here either, am I? Terrible. What the heck is going on? It looks like a freaking oil refinery now. What is... somebody standing down here? Is that a person? It is. There's a dude there. Okay. Well, I'm already glad I came this way. And to be honest with you, if I had fast traveled out of here, I'm not really sure where I would have fast traveled to anyway, because I'm supposed to be going back here to this path and walk this way. Ultimately, I want to get here to expose the map is what I want to do just for myself. But what is, what is going on? Okay, he does have a light now. Huh. Okay. So are the, is Langdell on fire or are those just like chimneys or lookout fires? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Oh, you don't want to be my friend? Guess not. Man, that guy was worth 927 runes. Lindell Soldier Helm. That's pretty cool. Alright, what the heck is going on? So now we've got what I believe to be an elevator. Ugh. 
but I've got to see. There's a dude on a horse there. I, I don't. I mean, I don't think that these fires were here. Maybe they were here all along. Well, I'm doing it. I'm running back this way. Last time I just wailed on this guy's horse, it wasn't even fair. Come here. I'm not done with you. Just chomp him up again. Sorry, horsey. And then remember there were all these dudes here that took me by surprise when I first came through here. Maybe those fires were always up there. I don't know. It's possible. Smoldering butterfly, thanks. Should have brought a sword, dude. There was another one. No? I thought there was another dude. No, oh, well, it's not important. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't see any other flames, so I guess. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a nighttime thing. Maybe those flames are always lit up at night. I'm just going to go down here and stick my head back in here. I don't see any flames here. Like a banner up there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this... Pretty sure right... Can't really point it out. But right in the center of the screen, I think, is the top of that enemy that breathes fire. The immobile enemy. Okay. Um... Well, crap. The problem with this... There's no... There's no site over here for me to get back to. I want to get back to where that... What I think is going to be an elevator is. Uh, but there's no site there, so I gotta run all the way back over there. That's okay, we'll do that. I don't know, man. There was just something weird about those flames that made me wonder if something had changed in... Dell. But we'll keep going forward. Oh, that's right. It looks like it's daylight, but I think as soon as I step out of here, it's not daylight anymore. Yeah. Well. Let's make this long run. <laughs> I wish I could hop on Torrent, but I cannot. Very odd, there's no sight over here. So, I, don't, I guess we're gonna go down. I guess we are. There's not really all that much up there, is there? I don't know. We're gonna find out here real soon. we go. Yay, down. <laughs> so glad to go down. It 
very dark down here, huh? I just put my torch away, but I'm going to get it back out. Because I want to see... Yeah, look at the difference a torch makes. It's possible there's a side passageway here or something. So here is... Well, I'm gonna guess is the main way out of here. But we're gonna take a look and just make sure there's nothing else. Doesn't look like it. And then we're going to do this. Oh, jeez, I'm fat rolling. Darn it. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> I was going to see if there was anything under there. But this is one big solid cylinder. Very foggy here side here. That's always nice to see. What's in the sky? Embers? I'm not sure. Maybe this is smoke. Maybe this isn't fog at all. Forbidden lands. Uh-oh. Forbidden to who and why? Let's have a little seat here. All right, forbidden lands. I'm gonna pass time until morning. I don't want to walk around here in the dark. I'm scared. So maybe I could put that away. There's an item over here. Let's go grab it real quick. Draw, string, fire, grease. Yeah, what's going on here? I'm very happy that that site is there. I mean, I'm guessing this is ash and not snow. Right? Well, let's venture into the Forbidden Lands. Look at this. Okay, these are some kind of weaponry. There's like shields and maybe look like practice swords to me. First, I thought that those were going to be like the instruments that the merchants play. But no, I'm not sure what those are. I see something over here. I saw a light over here. Oh, oh. It's like a big big skull. See that? Teeth there? It's a big skull. What did I think I saw a light over here? Okay, this place... I might get lost. Here comes one of these annoying dudes. That was an interesting little trick you did there. Okay, I'm not happy that... He didn't die with one hit. I'm really worried I'm going to swing right over top of them because they're they're little dudes. Oh, I don't like this at all. I see you there. Oh, ho, ho! He hit me pretty doggone hard. 
Yes, he did. He hit me pretty hard. What's this? Ruins? There's an item up there. Hey, buddies. Ouch. Man. Whoa. Where's my health going? What was... What, what, I guess I was bleeding and I didn't realize it. Ow. Oh, these little jerks are giving me some trouble. Oh, I didn't see you there. Ouch. Oh, I missed. Oh, man. Holy hell. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is what I was afraid of, swinging over top of him. Holy hell. Thank goodness for more flasks, because those guys were expensive. I'm going to have to switch to, um, switch back to our good old Fang. Goodness gracious. Let's see if it does a better job against these little guys. Golden Rune 7. There's one of them standing away over there. Yeah, I guess the light I saw was maybe one of these embers falling. What a weird place. The Forbidden Lands. Which way are you facing, dude? I can't tell. These are little teeny tiny dudes. Look how little this guy is. That's the backstab for this weapon? Can't say I ever really noticed that before. Really? Boy, there's a lot of them. Scared. I'm quite nervous. All right, we're back up to nine flasks. Whoa! I was wonder if I should get out a shield. These guys—they're hurting me. Hurt me pretty bad. going on in this place. Man, I'm waiting for something to drop down on me from above. That's what I'm worried about. All these trees here. Cliff faces. I didn't even hit him, doggone it. Oh, I did quite a bit of hurting. I really like the swing of this weapon. It has like a, a downward arc to it, so it's really good for these little dudes. I like that a lot. And this weapon's no slouch. So, oh, here's some nascent butterflies. Whoa, whoa, those damn things. Oh, these nasty dudes. These, these dudes are nasty, man. Vulgar militia dudes. They're nasty. They're vulgar indeed. Oh, I hate how long it takes for this poison effect to wear off. I do have a spell, I just call them spells, I don't know, incantation that I can use to dissipate this thing quicker, but I'll hold on to that for when I'm in trouble. I'm just going to walk back this way, see if there's anything here. Is this... Is this something? It's not. Okay. I'm gonna get stuck down here if I'm not careful.
I mean, this is ash, right? How, how can I tell if this is ash or snow? Looking at my, my character's face. I mean, I don't know if, like, I'd be able to see his breath if it was cold. Oh, jeez. Oh, I almost ran right off that cliff. Whew. Almost did it. There's like just this little, little, I don't even want to call it music, but this note that's being played here. What is this? Skull, okay. Makes things kind of tense. Nicely done. Very tense here. So we get this long, narrow ridge here. Just waiting for me to fall to my death. Oh, come on. That I never knew that's what the backstab looked like with of of the, of the, of this weapon. Maybe it's just for the little dudes? I don't know. Okay, we're, we're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. More weapons here. So some kind of fight took place here. Scarab, maybe? Sounds like it's coming from all around me. I can't tell where he is. Well, this is just gonna give me more flasks. It's fast, dude. Nope. I mean, I don't really need this, but Pride won't let it go. You don't even know where I went. <laughs> nice. Nice job, me. Vulgar Militia Helm. Wow, all the Vulgar Militia we've killed, and that's the first time they've dropped one of those. Look at that thing. Let's check that out. Pretty creepy looking helm. Worn by lean, mean, and filthy militiamen. The upward extension serves to create an appearance of larger size, however slightly. We'll just slap that on and wear that for a little while. What do you think about that? Huh? Not bad. Here, another scarab. Ain't nothing to see out there, is there? Another scarab. Yeah. No. Thought I saw a militia dude hanging on the ledge there, but it's not. Oh, he's like rolling this way. Kind of weird that he's already on the move. Normally, I don't start moving until I get close to them. I don't really need any flasks right now, so I'm not too worried about it. What I am worried about is that he's acting weird. Oh. There's one flug floating up there. Really just wanted him to stop making noise so that 
In case there is another scarab around here, I hear it. Oh, there's nothing down here for us. Boy, there's nothing in the way of crafting materials to pick up around here either now, is there? Deal with this guy. Uh. Okay, that worked. It looks like that must have just been a regular old FP dude. I used mighty shot on him. I wanted to kill him as quickly as possible. So he didn't get away. Exciting there. Forbidden lands. Are the vulgar militia vulgar militia here protecting them? Are they raiding them? Overtaking them? No, thank you. Not interested in what you're selling there, bub. Kinda don't like it here. Longer militia armor. What is... Here another dude here. I never know whether these guys are FP dudes. Guys with special stuff. I think he's just an FP dude. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of scarabs around here. I just don't need them. Oh, here's something I do need, though. Guess a golden seed. Yes, indeed, golden seed. here. Oh, there's an item over here. I don't even know which way I'm facing. How do I get up here? Torrent, maybe? I'm in his mouth. Somber smithing stone seven. That's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I'm a little dizzy here. Well, let's go and get this guy since I see him. What are you looking at, man? There's nothing out there. Oh, there's his body. This is looking like a, a dead end indeed. I'm actually glad this place is kind of narrow, otherwise I would get lost. Gotta look around every corner. Be hiding something. I also kind of want to give that scarab wide berth because I don't want to scare it away. I'll leave it there just in case I need it or something. I don't know. It could happen. Okay, I'd like to make it through this. I really don't like it here.
Okay, nothing back there for us. I'm just waiting to slip off a ledge here, fall to my death. Oh. This isn't an enemy. That could be bad news right there. That could mean there's a boss here. Right? Or am I wrong about that? Okay, so there's the um, scarab that we're hearing. I'll just let him be. But somebody I'm not going to let be is this vulgar militia over here. All vulgar militia must die. get somewhere. It's not here. Eesh. So desolate here. Coming up to the grand lift of rolled. Oh! Black Blade Kindred, I told you that there was an enemy here. Well, do I want to fight this guy with this weapon? I'm going to fight him by myself. I'm not sure I want to use this weapon, to tell you the truth. But uh, we're going to. Oh, I can bring in a friend now, all of a sudden. Oh, I'm not even hitting this guy. Ouch. Okay, that wasn't good. I'm almost dead. Crap, you know what? I do not want to die here. Because it is a long run back. Oh, damn it. Get up, dude. Oh. Okay. Shoot. Oh. <sighs> well, I guess the good thing is that we could just start at the Stake America. We don't have to go all the way back, huh? I told you there was a boss here. I knew that's what that meant. All right. Uh, I'm going to switch back to my big weapon. Did not feel like that was the appropriate weapon for this fight. And um, I'm going to try to summon a friend as soon as I can. Where is he? Oh. Millicent. Okay. Come on and help me, Millicent. Good to see you again. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take my flask. I'm gonna go ahead and summon my buddy. And we're gonna run over here to my runes. See if this doesn't kick off a fight. And it does indeed. Crap, my uh, buddy's going to disappear over here if I'm not careful. Holy hell, did you see my health just go? This guy needs to hold still. Am I going to take health or not? Do it. Okay. Stand here and do this all day. I'm going to take my FP. Ouch. Okay, we got him again. Take my health. Oleg over there to the right shooting at him with his cool arrows. Millicent just getting in there and mixing it up. Taking a beating. Back to more FP. Millicent's still alive somehow. Yeah, we're gonna get him. Nice. Thanks for your help. 
Scarlet Millicent. Gargoyle's Black Blades. And Gargoyle's Black Axe. And our buddy... Look, look at his health. Did you see his health? <laughs> he had the tiniest sliver of health left. <laughs> okay, let's see what we picked up here. We picked up two weapons from this guy. Gargoyle's Black Blades. Bronze twin blade wielded by valiant gargoyles. Mended with blackened corpse wax. It deals holy damage. Such is the mark of those who serve Malaketh the Black Blade. It has the spinning slash skill. And here's Gargoyle's Black Axe. Bronze great axe wielded by valiant gargoyles. Mended with blackened corpse wax. It also deals holy damage. And again, it says, such is the mark of those who serve Malaketh the Black Blade. Uh, this one, we don't have the faith to wield. And this one, we also don't have the faith to wield. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, that's a pretty neat moveset. All right. And then we've got... The axe. Not much range, but it probably does quite a bit of damage. Switch back to the big boy. And now, this is where we find the ourselves on the map, just south of the Grand Lift of Rold. We will continue forward in the next episode, I think. I'm not really sure where we are now. But I do need to end this episode here. So, when we come back next time, we will continue in this direction. Go up to the Grand Lift of Rold. Ultimately, go here to the Stella. I think that's what it's called. Expose more of the map. And there's another one up here. Jeez. Got a lot more map left to expose. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sure, it'll be a good time. If you didn't watch, let me know. You can leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.